Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Wednesday the 19th of August and we have new mods. Um, we have a few updates. The updates are as follows. From the bottom left we have updates to the John Deere 96 10 by Seed Modding. The Deutzfahrt Agritron 128 150 I think it is, isn't it? by Redcat 3D. Uh, top right, the John Deere 8R US series by Custom Modding has had an update too. Plus, the kind of, it's becoming a regular thing now, um, RDC FS19 by Alberto has had its seasonal major update. Um, so rather than a few changes, the entire map changes. The map is not seasons ready, and it will not run with the, um, the add-on Straw Harvest DLC. Um, but it it's huge the update and the change to it is absolutely massive so yeah i mean oh the rdc um fs19 is a minefield uh, i every time an update comes out for that it would it would it have to be an entire new map tour but there is so much on that it's incredibly complicated so i would absolutely urge you Go and check out the change log if that's something you're interested in doing. So, first of the mods for today. Um, yeah, I've got it over here for a reason. Um, this is the New Holland TC5070 and very feed 20 foot header. This also comes with a header trailer. Um, this is by Connect Modding and Farm Centro Sul. Um, it's another one of these double-edged sword jobs, isn't it? Um, it is incredibly cheap. I mean, ridiculously cheap. Um, how do I put this politely? It's not the most detailed. I mean, there's detail on there, but the textures here and there... If you look up there at the New Holland logo, you can see it's ray. It's like it's not actually sat on the pipe quite right. There's a few little issues with this, I'll be honest. And when I tell you the slot count, you're going to be horrified. On console, this is currently sitting on 61 slots. And when I actually show you it in a bit more detail, there's not actually that much going on on it. So I'm not sure why it's so heavy on the slot count. Um, the header is a 7.6 metre, 20 foot header. And like I say, there is a header trailer, but there's also an issue with that. Um, yeah, it's a bit for like I say. I never like to just be, you know, I'm not going to say this is rubbish. That's not who I am. It's not what I do. There are a, a couple of issues, things with it. I, just me personally. I mean, the first thing you're going to say is well, six to one slots. I'm not touching it with the barge pole. Some people might say absolutely, it's cheap enough. I'll I'll go for it. You know, it, there's all different ways of looking at this. So um, let's have a look in store first at it, shall we? Under harvesters. Right at the very end, TC5070. 5,000 litre capacity, so it's on the smaller side. Um, 41 grand. You can get the base model for 41,000 for a 5,000 litre. So, mm, I suppose you've got to say to yourself, if I got two or three of those, that's still not too expensive. Once you've bought the first one, the slot count drops to four. So you're splitting that well, it must be 69 at that point. 69 slots between potentially three harvesters if you've gone with three. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't know. However you want to look at it, I'm just presenting the facts. This is what's here. Um, you can have engine set up standard. You can have a 215 horsepower for designer one. Designer two changes the colour scheme a little bit. We go from that to that, which gives you 223 horsepower. Then there's a 240 horsepower, which adds another 16. So you've got um, nine grand added for design oh, that's interesting designer one and two is still nine grand but one's 215 one's 223 and then if you go for the 240 horsepower it's an extra 16 grand still only puts it at 58 horsepower now this is designed for steep inclines and hillsides it's got a wide for a fairly wide track on the axle and small rounded tires so they're not kind of straight up and down again to give you more purchase on hillsides and terrain and that kind of thing uh, wheel set up though, you can have standard, you can have lizard, you can have doubles, or back to standard again. Those are your options on that. If we go to the header, 
That's 32,190 for a 7.6 metre header. Scarily, almost as expensive as the base model Harvester is. <laughs> so you're going to double the price of this setup by getting the header itself. So, I know. But it's still, you know, it's a cheap option. You have to buy a header no matter what Harvester you go for. Um, there are no options available. You get what you get and it will harvest at 6 miles per hour. Then there's the header trailer. Um, I think the header was... Does it say one slot? Did I put down one slot? And the header trailer was four. That's an interesting way around. There you go. Cut a trailer. Only 1,000 to buy. Um, and this one, weirdly, you can choose from any of these colours on the colour palette. So I suppose the intimation there is you could choose this as a header trailer for other headers maybe as well. But um, it does say 20 foot cutter trailer. So anyway, so let's jump in it. start it up lights all very nice um, if we fold it or unfold it that's it folded that's it unfolded pipe out one redeeming another well a redeeming feature on this as well pipe sits nice and forward so from in cab you can see the pipe I like that as an option um, lights when you go for your light options there is a light on the auger which again I like that as an option for a nighttime thing that's, that's a cracking thing to have very nice indeed um, like I said in cab it's neat it's tidy there's not a huge amount of detail there's not a huge amount going on um, I don't think we've got an open door or window or anything like that no horn uh, let's go lights off pipe in uh, we do have a beacon just there and then if we hook the header up um, the header, as most headers do, has the option if I do now L1 and right stick up and down, I can raise and lower the header, I can bring it in and out a bit for a bit of a kind of aesthetic adjustment. Now here's the next problem. Um, if I fold that, see on, what was it? Was it, the old, was it one of the Massey Fergusons that we used to have? That when you opened it up, it actually lowered it at the back, so it raised the front. Now, the problem I've got with this at the moment is when I come to put my nice shiny new header on my nice shiny new header trailer it, <laughs> it doesn't want to go on I've tried different slight angles I've tried coming on kind of more level to get these to slide up on the actual rails themselves it really doesn't like it and the, the problem there is I can push it I'm accelerating as hard as it will go and it does not want to go on that trailer my worry is if it does go on that trailer I'm never going to get it off again um, so it's, it's one of the curses of header trailers generally speaking but this one seems particularly bad um, I don't know whether it, whether it will get an update whether it needs an update it's a pity because I'd say for the price of it and the size of it and capacity it's, it's a really affordable harvester there are just a few issues so sorry about that but that's just the way it is um, moving on oh did I say who that was by I'm so sorry I did yeah connect mod modding and farm centro salt um, moving on I'm going to start with the buildings I think um, this is the brick shed pack Ital Italian style by black eyes modding there are two in this pack and you'll find them um, under placeables under sheds we've got one that's closed in with a big door um, brickwork texturing all that's fantastic terracotta tiles on the top huge like beams across it as well um, plenty of room on the sides for storing things one thing I will say there's no sound effect on the door and it opens really quickly it kind of there you go it caught me out I didn't get a chance to move out of the way of it um, but space inside there is no lighting that I've come across and I couldn't find a light switch anywhere um, and then the second one over here is an open one so you can, you can come in from this side and bring your stuff in no door on it but it's open on one side for all intents and purposes the same building just a slightly different design on there again nice texturing nice detail these are five slots each on console for the first one uh footprint is fairly large like with anything placeable you're better off making sure you where you're placing it is flat or as flat as it can be and allows for enough of a footprint for what you're placing um like i say these you'll find under placeables under sheds there you go, brick shed with door, brick shed open, 9,000 each. Um, and like I say, only five slots each 
to place. Um, so that's the first of the those. Uh, that's by Black Eyes Modding. Uh, moving on. Oh, I should just do this while we're here. It's by A Dub Modding. Um, this is the waste cart. It's two slots. It's a decorative object. It's a bin. Does that say oink ink? You can pick it up and move it around if you want to. I haven't been able to find an option like to open the bin lid or anything, but you can pick it up and move it around. Um, it's a decorative waste bin. This you will find. Um, under decoration, placeables and decoration, 100 to buy. And like I say, only two slots. There are no options available. You get it. You put it wherever you want and put it down. Like so. There you go. That's the uh, waste cart by Adub Modding. Moving on, we've got this. This is the Field Barn. This is Merck to Ger by Merck to Gern Bauer. Nice size. Again, loads of detail. Brickwork looks fantastic. Loads of entrances, exits, however you want to look at it. We do have lighting on the outside, which puts all these outside lights on around over the doors. The door sizes aren't huge, even when you consider the size of this section of the building, the doors are all this size. So as far as very big machinery, I don't know how you'd fare, but inside there's loads of room in here, it's, it's cavernous. But again, a lot of space up high, which I suppose isn't really usable, it's not like it's a, a hayloft or anything, um, but the beamwork, oh man, how intricate is that? With all the wiring, there is a light switch, where we go, inside here as well, on that pillar, which turns the lights on inside. And like I say, doors all the way around, so if you want to use it as a drive-through building, you can. Coming from one side right through to the other, and all of these doors do open. Nicely detailed, nice size. This you'll find under placeables. Might as well open them all up. Let's get some natural light in, shall we? Um, there we go. It's a big building. Um, so, under placeables, under sheds, 50,000 to buy, um, and it's only nine slots, which isn't too heavy on the slot count, but like I say, it has got a fairly large footprint, so you may have to give that a bit of consideration again when you're placing, think about um, levelling your ground and where you're actually going to put it. Uh, moving on from there, we have got this. This is the root crop storage. This is by West Modding. This is a 250,000 litre capacity root crop storage, so it'll do 250,000 litres of potatoes or, um, sorry, not and, not or, 250,000 litres of potato and sugar beet. If you can see one side, we've already got 45,000 litres of potato in there, and it already says potato. That's the sugar beet side here. Um, I don't think there's any lights in here that I've been out of find. Um, so I've already bought some potato in, so what I'm going to do is bring in the sugar beet. Um, I would say you're not going to get away with massive trailers, and you're better off having one of these, the push trailers, rather than the lift trailers. So rather than the tilt, you want a push trailer. So I'm going to get over the trigger, like so. This one load no problem at all, and you'll see that to the left, oh, we'll have a look in a second, it's putting some in, and you can see the camera going up as well. There we go. So if I back up now to about there, and just hop out a second, so there you go. There's our sugar beet we just put in now. To get stuff out of this, if we go to here and press enter, like you're entering a machine, like so, it says there 45,000 litres of potatoes, 45,000 litres of sugar beet. And if I open up my help menu, I can put pipe out, so L1 and down on the D pad. So that's for potatoes, and that auto unloads. Hang on, why is that saying potatoes? And, oh no, it's on sugar beet first. Oh, that's interesting. I thought it would give you the option to unload. If I do it again... That's weird. That stops it. So L1 and down stops it. Then L1 and down puts it away. So how do I get... 
potato then. Hmm. Okay. Let's drive that forward and try this again, shall we? That's a load of sugar beet. Because that just automatically put the sugar beet in. How do we get an option for potatoes? So I pressed it twice that time. L1 and double taps. Now it's doing the potatoes. Okay, so if you do L1 and down the D-pad, it will open up and it will do sugar beet first. I pressed L1 and pressed down the D-pad twice and it did potatoes. If I now press L1 and down the D-pad now, it will fold it away and stop unloading if you want to stop it unloading. So yeah, that's how you do it. Okay. Interesting way of doing it. But there you go. So that's how you put your sugar beet and potato in. That's how you get your sugar beet and potato out. We'll have a look at this. This you'll find in placeables under silos. Just smash into the building and the trees. The building itself is fairly plain. There's not a huge amount going on on the building itself. And like I say, I can't see any lights inside or out. Um, but, like I say, you'll find this under placeables, under silos. 50,000 to buy. And as I said, 250,000 litre capacity for each of them. That's by West Modding and the root crop storage. Moving on, we've got this. Um, this I like this a lot. This is by Black Sheep Modern. This is the Modern Pig's Barn. Um, nicely detailed, nicely laid out. Now, there's solar panels on the roof. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm just going to speed up time a second. I'm just trying to think, have I got any other placeables that make me money? I don't think so. Got my side panel plugged in. Just watch and see if the money goes up. No. Because weirdly, in the... In the uh, web, on the website mod hub or was it in the mod it actually might have been in the mod hub itself um, it gave an earnings thing and I thought that's a bit weird but I assume that's just maybe to simulate power anyway regardless of that um, everything is really nicely labelled really functional very easy to use and I like that I'm, I'm not a fan of getting animal pens and stuff where you have to guess where everything goes that drives me mad if I'm honest so water fairly straightforward you bring your tanker over or whatever you're using this is where you put your water in um this is seasons ready and it is manure system ready if you're on pc this will hold 300 pigs um this is where you get your slurry from it says slurry on the wall very straightforward um so we've got a door open here that opens the top bit like so if i go over to this one and open that that opens the next section now going into here is where my dialog box comes up so if i want to buy it sell load or unload this is my where my dialog box opens up if i go to the next one and open that this closes off the pigs they can't get into where the bedding is the manure appears here so that's where it says manure this is where you come and collect your manure from so if i come back out again close each section off as i go like so and like so now, if I just hop over that second. So when you put your water in and your feed in, the water goes in where I showed you, and each of the troughs fills up. There's one in each of the bays, um, all done through the pipe work that's around the building. I'll tell you what I should do, which make life a little bit easier. Let's jump over here and put the lights on. There are lights, like so. Um, so, yeah. Um, so all the pipe work that runs around the building. That's what I started off by saying. If we go around to here... Do I have lights outside? It's a point actually. I don't know if they're automatic. I didn't come across a light switch for outside. Anyway, this door opens here. Again, nice and straightforward. All the way to the back here. This big thing here, as you can probably tell, Superfeed 2000. Big quality. This is where you put your pig food. It says pig food right there, look. No mucking around. If we back up a little bit here, this one here. This trigger just here is where you put your straw bedding in. So you're back into here, put your straw bedding in, and the bedding comes into this section right here. It couldn't be more straightforward. Look, and it even says there on there, straw. Um, it's, it's really nice. It's well made. Looks good. Straightforward. Lighting. Doors open and close as they should. Pigs come out here. Now, I these have got little doors, but I couldn't get a trigger to come up to close these. I don't think there's... I think in the real world probably they would do, but 
I couldn't find a trigger to get these to close in between so the animals are free to roam between the, uh, the sections but yeah nicely textured nicely detailed functional straightforward simple and easy to use that's exactly what I'm looking for absolutely spot on um, so this you'll find under placeables under animal pens 120 grand it's not cheap yeah there it says 300 an hour because you've got the 50 euros a day it's saying there for your fee but it's saying income that's weird i don't know but anyway all the regular feeds and stuff are what you are required to put in there uh, like i say 300 animals the slot count on that is let me just look down my list 12 nice and low on the slot count if we come out of there and go into the menu you'll see there you go cleanliness water straw you can either put pig food in which splits everything or you can give them separate corn wheat or barley soybean kind of sunflower potatoes sugar beet same as you normally do um yeah and, and that's you know it does what it says on the tin very nice moving on we've got this this is the lizard 1200 gallon side quest by custom modding as we saw at the start of the video and for the updates the um custom modding John Deere uh, 8R US series has had an update. Part of that update, I think, is to allow for this as well. Um, this, the required mod to use this, is this to get the 8R US series. Um, so that's what I've done. What I also did was went for the big chunky tyres on that to see whether this would hook up, whether there'd be any issues with collisions or things clipping or anything like that. Um, I'm glad to report they don't so we'll have a look at this in just a second really nicely detailed quite a few options of this sits on the ground nice and neatly very robust construction this will take um, liquid fertilizer and herbicide so it's extra tanks if you're going to be doing spraying that kind of stuff um, I it didn't give me the option for water or anything like that um, now which one was it I think it was this one it wouldn't let me fill this up from the um edge castiga like buy anything silo um the other silos are available and obviously there are plenty of pallets and things like that but um it i did fill it up in the end so this you'll find under tools under uh, where is it crop protection what does 1200 gallons equate to 4543 liters like i say it will take herbicide and liquid fertilizer these will use three slots so not too high on the slot count options available you can have the main color as the john deere yellow you can have them white you can have them as a gray design color you can have any of that and that changes the pipes so the pipe work you can have a selection however you want to go for it a combination of the three main colors and the design color um those are the options twenty one thousand um and ninety to buy and i'll say what we'll do is jump in here when we drive forward nothing catches up even with these big tires i know in the real world it would do you'd be catching all sorts of bits and bobs i know they would be probably put on separately in the real world as well but when they're on they fit on very nicely everything attaches where it should do bolts onto the, the chassis and the framework really nicely the pipe here goes really nicely fits on where the axles are um yeah i don't know it's just it's, it's a good mod does what it should do they are filled up with liquid fertilizer 4543 liters puts less strain on the vehicle having it like that straddled as side tanks than having things on three point links and strain like that plus it means you can hook up wherever you want to on the back if that already has a capacity as well you can increase your capacity by using these the pipe work attaches underneath there you go very nice indeed the lizard 1200 gallon side quest tanks by custom modding uh, I am going to drop those off actually because I'm going to need to use this for the next mod. Moving on. We've got the Lizard Grade IH. This is by JA Modding and Agro Tono. Tono. Um, this is a. I think I found it under disc arrows in the end. This is a disc arrow. It's only 2.2 metres. So again, if you're one of the 3 metre cultivator aficionados, I'm sorry, it's a little bit too small for you guys, but nice design 
looks good. It's like I say, it's only 2.2 .2 metres, you know, I know. It's not everyone's cup of tea if you're going to do some small stuff or you haven't got a lot of room for manoeuvring and you want something small, this may well be what you're looking for. Uh, we do have, I think there's one or two small cultivators knocking about in the mod tub. I'm pretty sure we've had some before. Um, so, in store, you'll find this under, I'm sure it was Discarrows. Yes, 21,000 to buy. I say 2.2 .2 meters it will run at 10 miles an hour only requires 61 horsepower so for small machinery you'll get away with it i know it's on a massive track at the moment but it's what i've got out here so i thought we'd use it drop it down and it does what it says on the tin there we go um sorry my pc's just decided to have a meltdown there you go, that's the Lizard Grade IH by JA Modding Agro Tonno. Uh, moving on from there, let's go, I'm going to do the trailers last, I think. We've got this, I like this a lot. This is the Lizard Uniport 2000 Plus by SM Farm. This is a fertiliser, liquid fertiliser or herbicide sprayer. It's a really nice, diddy little self-propelled unit. I think this is one of the cheapest, I'm trying to think of all the modded ones we've had. One of the cheapest sprayers, although the tank capacity is fairly small, um, really nicely detailed. It's a cool looking little thing this. Um, this you'll find under vehicles, under crop protection, up there, I've got a few installed so yeah, when you look at the prices, 195, 489, 211, this is 110 grand. 110,000. Like I say, it's only 2,000 litre tank, 24 uh, metre spread, so it's not massive boom width or anything like that. But um, slot count on this as well was 19, so it's not too bad actually. Um, options available? There are none. You get what you get, 126 horsepower. Jump in it, start it up. Horn. Lights. It's got a really nice kind of muted yellow rather than a bright kind of... I mean, maybe that's not going to be as handy at night, but... I've got 2,000 litres of herbicide at the moment. Nice tight turning circle. This doesn't, that I could tell, have an adjustable track. Um, I did have a look... L1, nothing came up. R1, nothing came up. L1 and R1. So there was nothing to adjust the track. I think you, you get what you get for that. Go open up the boom. It takes a little while. It does one side first and the other. And this takes a little bit of time. So it will drop one side down, then it drops the whole lot down, and the whole lot drops to the floor. And I must admit, I kept looking at the menu here to my left thinking, OK, we've got a problem now because you can't adjust it. But if I do that, but then all of a sudden it will pop up. But it takes a while. Just be wary of that. There we go. So now I've got the option L1 and right stick up and down. I can adjust my boom height. But it takes a while for that, that to actually appear. The same is when you come to fold the sprayer up. When I put it on, turn it on. There we go, no problem at all. But when I come to fold it, L1 and X to fold it. So L1 and press next now. Nothing happens for a while. Just bear with it. Because I kept pressing it thinking, why is this not working? Come on. There we go. <laughs> There's a bit of a delay on that. Um, that may drive you nuts. Nice smooth animation. Nice little sprayer. So if you're if you've got a fairly small kind of setup and you want to be running fertilizer or something, you haven't got a, you don't have to spend a fortune on a self-propelled sprayer. It's, it's a nice cheap alternative, a nice cheap unit. Uh, like I say, it's just that boom time that it takes to do it might take might like I say it might drive a little bit mad. But um, so that's by SM Farm, the Lizard Uniport 2000 plus. Uh, I think we're on to the last of the mods. I think we are. This is the Versatile Transport Trailer. This is by 82nd, 80, 82 Squared Zanarco. Um, 
we've got a few options on this although it only comes up as one in the in the store there are an absolute load of options available on this we've got a dovetail um option um, we'll go through and look at install believe it or not it kind of it just starts off like this as a, as a very small unit but then you've got options on where you place the wheels wheel types length of trailer whether you have a drop down back on it um, this will carry 2,000 litres of liquid fertiliser or herbicide. It will also carry some solid product too. Um, it will. You can have it as a tow behind. You can have it as a gooseneck. Um, what else? <laughs> yeah, like I say, there's loads of options on this. Really nicely detailed. Lots going on. We'll have a look at the few a few of the options, and it, it is a truly it is a versatile trailer probably why it's called that i would imagine um so you'll find this under tools under loading wagons or low lo loading wagons sorry low loaders um there we go so versatile transport trailer only eight grand nice and cheap um this will use where is it on my list 16 slots for the first one i would imagine you're, you're more likely to buy more than one it does say down the bottom there it takes seed, liquid fertilizer, and herbicide. If we check on our options, we have got a few. Uh, I apologize if I miss one. There are quite a few to look at here. But anyway, rim color we can have stainless steel, dark steel, aluminium, chrome, polished, new silver, scarlet red. Then we go through some of those nice kind of nitro blue, blaze orange. There's that nice kind of shiny John Deere. Um, so all those options. Main color changes as you would imagine. The main colour, let's go with let's go with the red, shall we? There's old, you can have old or you can have the shinier colours. So if I go along to that one and go with scarlet red, it gives you the more sort of metallic look to it. Then we go to design colour. Design colour changes the toolbox bit at the front. So if I do that, let's say blue, so that stands out. So that toolbox section in there goes blue. Now options on the actual vehicle the vehicle the trailer itself we can have a twin axle and when it says front you'll see what i mean twin axle front twin axle back this is going to change you can have tri-axle you can have spread axle or back to twin axle front then you can go for i can't zoom any further than this it won't let me get any closer but you can have single wheel you can have standard which puts you a double wheel setup you can have knock-in you can have wides and then you're back to your single wheel again. I think I went for doubles on the ones I've got. Uh, then you can have it as a flat deck, like so. You can have it with ramps, like that. You can have it dovetail, like that. I, I love the way the dovetail unfolds. We'll have a look at it in a second. Back to flat deck. So you've got those options. So already we've got an extension on that, so you can see why you might want to spread the axles or go for a triple or anything like that. Then function. We've got standard. You've got the nurse trailer, so it puts the bits underneath there. Now I found it still took solid, it still took seed even without that on. Um, anyway, you can have it attacher, gooseneck, or bumper pull, like so. Uh, mud guards, you can have standard, you can have back, front, sorry, back, both, or back to standard with them off. Then we've got the length, so we've got the 20 the 30 the 40 or the 50 <laughs> that is huge i mean massive then we got extras you know it's standard you can have it with side rails it puts these little kind of extra little side rails on it you can have it with log poles so you can have it as a log trailer pretty versatile or you can have it with extensions which we'll have a look at in just a second so Plenty of options to be looking at. Now this one here hasn't got the nurse bits underneath it. It has got the toolbox section there. I couldn't get this to put any seed in from the seed refill silo, but it did take it from pallets. So that one's currently got 2,600 litres of seed in it as well. So I can use it for all sorts of stuff, which is amazing. Now that's just the standard ordinary flat deck. And the flat deck does come with the ball hitch on the back, which is actually quite handy because what that will do is attach on to that connector on any other trailer. 
So if I went for a 50 with one of those connectors on one of these with a flat deck, you can double these up, which the mind boggles. Um, this one I went with the um, rear connector as well, but this one has got the dovetail, which we'll have a look at in a second. This has also got log poles, which we're going to also have a look at in a second. And it's got the nursing gear on there. This one I went with the gooseneck. That was the 30, or was that the 50? And that was the ramped back. So you've got the dovetail back and the ramped back. And that I went with the split axle as well, I think, on that. Yes, that's definitely the split axle. Um, that was the nitro blue, I think that was. That was the blaze orange, and that stayed as black. So... I'll hook up it up to it just to show you, but that does say 2,600 litres of seed. And what I will also do, so that's just using it as a regular flat deck. But if I back up to the other one, this won't work with the gooseneck, but it will work with the other connection. If I do that now, I can hook two of them together if I want to go down that route, which is rather handy. So, let's hook up, swing that around a little bit, uh, let's go like that, so let's open the help window to my left, unfold trailer L1 and X puts up the log poles, so you can have it for login, from in cab R1 and uh, R3 I can put my um, tension belts on, there are no tension belts on the rear ramp section. Uh, L1 and X folds that away again. If I go um, L1 and left on the D-pad, I can open and close the cover, which opens and closes that section. Now that's got the two tanks on the side of it, and this one is currently saying it's got 2,000 litres of liquid fertiliser in it. So I could put 2,000 litres of liquid fertiliser or herbicide and 2,600 litres of seed in it as well, so I could transport those out to the field if I want to. Um, as far as I'm opening this up, I love this. I just think it's fantastic. So L1 and right stick. It lifts it, swings it out, drops that down. Now if I can I can do it manually so I can adjust it to wherever I want it to be. I just think that's such a nice animation on that. I could spend ages doing that. Just I think that's fantastic. There we go. By putting your vehicles on, so you can have it for vehicles, you can have it for pallets, you can have it for logs, you can, you know, I don't know. It may not be your cup of tea, but I, I personally, and it's my personal opinion, I think it's very, very good, very, very clever. Um, if we hook it up with the gooseneck, we do have the option then, it would help if I actually went over the gooseneck attachment. We do have the option of L1 and right stick up and down. No, is it L1 up and down? R1. Oh, there we go. Um, so R1 and right stick side to side, raises and lowers so you can get the adjustment right to set it level, however you want to go about doing that, for whatever it is you've got towing it. So it might not be this particular vehicle, but it could be something else. Um, L1 and right stick. We can open up the ramps like so. So rather than the other one that dovetails and comes up from underneath, this one goes in there. Now this one I went with the extensions as well. But there is a slight issue with that. So if I unfold trailer now, L1 and X, it opens up the extensions, which is fantastic. So you can put wider loads on there. Things like harvesters and whatnot that will go on there. But the question is, can you? Because I tried to put on that right there. It doesn't have extensions on the ramp. So whilst it has extensions up there, if you can get the vehicle up there, that's fine. But if it's a little bit too wide for the ramps, you can't actually get the vehicle up. Now, obviously, that's got very narrow tyres on it. If you've got a tractor or something with wider tyres, it may not be an issue. But it's something to bear in mind. Um, that is a little bit narrower than the actual extensions are. So you may have a minor issue. Is that really a minor one? But I just thought I'd point it out. So, raise that back up again, put that away. This also straps on the deck, 
nice wooden boarding I like the textures and the detail on it I think that's absolutely great lights indicators I think it has running lights on the side yep and there we go that may be the 50 actually is that the 50 it's really really long but anyway like I say I apologize if I've missed something on there I hope I haven't I think I've covered all the settings on that I've left indicator going don't worry don't look at it um anyway if that is everything <laughs> I hope it is that's it for the mods for today I hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching